All right, so this is the slot machine simulation game. It is out of chapter number four, and this is programming challenge number 22. Yeah, this is 22. Um, so in this program or app, um, we are to simulate a slot machine. Um, and we are to practice using methods and logic with if-else statements. Okay, so um, I did not create any... Well, actually, yes, I did. I did create an outside class for sound. So just as a disclaimer, um, there will be some sharp noises that I tried to make it somewhat fun. Um, so if you don't like that, I would just turn down the volume just a little bit. Um, but let me play it for you first so you can see. All right, so it says to insert gambling money, so I'll just gamble $1,000, I guess. Um, and in this app, I didn't really explain this, but um, there aren't going to be any symbols. It's basically a slot machine of matching words. So if uh, no words match, there will be no winnings. If there are two words that match, then uh, the user will... Uh, earn two times what they uh, inserted as far as gambling money. And if three words match, then they will earn three times what they inputted. So because none of these words match up here, the bells, cherries, and bars, I won zero dollars, so I lost my thousand dollars. And then I'll loop again, ask if I want to play, and I'll say uh, yes. Okay, so let's say I want to insert $5,000. Okay, so I lost $6,000. I won nothing again, so I'll play again. Let's say I'm running out of money. I only want to do $300. Okay, so I won two times. This time I have two bars that match. I won $600. I won $600, but I did lose a lot of money. Let's say I don't want to play anymore, so I'll press no. Okay, and uh, it just lets you know at the end that I insert this amount of money. I won this amount of money, and I lost a total of this amount of money. And better luck next time. Okay, so let me show you the code on how this works for this basic little slot machine. Okay, so I'm doing it all in the main class, pretty much. Um, obviously, putting my variables up here at the top, uh, string user input, because I did this as a J option pane, uh, which we had the import up above. Um, and we're using uh, various doubles, characters, and ints. Um, so in a previous video I had, I think it was for test scores, I think. Um, where it was yes or no um, on the J option pane. Um, in this app, I'm showing that you can use a character um, instead of the yes or no option. Okay, so where they can just say yes or no by inserting a character. Okay, um, now starting in the application, we have our while loop where we are calling that yes, that Y character, um, validating that if they press a Y for yes, then this program or app will continue to run and continue to allow them to insert that gambling money. Um, we start out with the, um, the sound. Um, so I have a, a separate class here I'll show you that I'll just navigate to. Um, and I actually got this from a previous class that I was in. Um, I don't remember too much about this, but basically this is a sound where you have tones uh, here, you have various imports up here at the top, um, and this right here. Okay, so I have that for the intro playing, and I have different ones for uh, playing the intro, playing to lose, playing to win. I did have one for the goodbye, but I just thought that was a little bit overboard with the sound. So, And I'm not like a sound expert, so I don't really know how to make it sound like an, a real game or whatever, but that's what I came up with. Um, and then this is where we start our um, input dialogues, where you insert your gambling money, 
Um, it converts it over to a double for an integer that we can actually calculate with. Um, and then here um, I have some shorthand for um, instead of writing total user amount entered equals total user amount entered plus user amount entered. If you notice up above total user amount entered, we have initialized as a zero. So basically that's zero plus whatever they entered. Um, and the reason why we have that initialized is because once it does the loop, like if they say yes, um, then it will add um, basically that old total user amount entered plus their new amount they entered. Like, let's say they want to do $1,000 and $500 and, you know, it'll just keep going. Okay, then we have a for loop uh, within our while loop. Uh, so this is like an inner loop. Um, where we are basically uh, checking for our words. Um, uh, so we're using cherries, oranges, plums, bells, melons, and bars. Okay, then we have um, some additional ifs here. Um, if the word count uh, is equal to one, um, then we're changing it over to word one. So we're just kind of converting some of those um, variables. Okay. Um, then that's the end of that loop. Um, this is just basically controlling the display. Um, so I, it, it's like a lot of uh, backslash T's in here that's basically uh, giving us our indentation for tabbing over um, just to display it and align it um, to the user. Um, then here is where we're doing kind of like the check for what they won. Um, so this, they would have won $0 because none of these words match. If word one is not equal to word two and word one is not equal to word three and word two is not equal to word three, then that means they won $0 because none of those words match. Um, and then it'll show uh, what they won so far uh, plus what they won so far, plus zero. Okay, then um, we have the else if and else. Um, this is if they won two times, so um, basically two words match. Okay, so word one equals word two, and word one does not equal word three, or word one is equal to word three, and word one does not equal to word two. So basically that means that two words match, um, not all three. And down here for the else, basically if all three words match, um, which is why I didn't have to uh, enter a totally new line of this uh, stuff, um, that means that they won three times because all three words matched, okay? Um, and then this is just some extra stuff asking them if they want to play again, okay? Um, so then down here, and, and that will continue to loop. It'll just continue to go um, over and over and over and over and over again until they say, no, they do not want to continue playing. And if they do not want to continue playing, it will output um, their totals pretty much um, saying, uh, I'll just scroll over here, you inserted um, this amount of money and won this amount of money, making a loss of this amount of money. Better luck next time. Um, this dollar sign percent comma period 2F is basically um, formatting um, these together. Uh, it's kind of like a, a different version of concatenation, I think is what they call it. Um, so it, it's just a shorthand way on how you can write it, I guess. Um, so that's that, and then system.exit. So I'll play it for you once again so you can see. All right, let's gamble $500. One, nothing. I'll play again. Let's do $3,000. One, nothing. I'll play again. Let's do $50,000. Still one, no money. Let's do... Another 50,000. All right, so I won 100 grand. Um, I've inserted so far $103,500, you can see right here. Um, 
do I want to play again? I'll say yes. Um, so I'll do one more time. Mm, let's say I want to do $200,000. I want to put in the slot machine. All right, so I won $0. Um, only won that 100000 from the last pull. Um, so I'm all out of money. I do not want to continue playing. All right, and then it just shows my numbers. So you inserted this amount of money, you won this amount of money, and you lost this amount of money. Better luck next time. Um, if they won, it would say congratulations instead of better luck next time. And if they left with what they came with, um, I wrote, you get to leave with what you came with. Thanks for playing. Okay, um, and it's running off of a random. So that's about it for this app. Uh, this is the slot machine simulation from chapter four. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but I hope you have a great day.